and gentlemen, and also my friend for the Kasti Rayapa. I thank you all for this time given for me to say something about what St. Augustine says about creation. It's not an easy job, but it takes time to reflect. First of all, what he says about creation, he says this, For God has not ordained anything which he did not know beforehand. So we know very well, nothing comes from nothing. Everything comes from something. So how God creates something which was not existing before? It is a question, relevant question to ask. How could God creating something out of nothing? Where was it? Normally, according to reason, it is not possible. But it is not so with God. If God has created the whole universe and all that within it, including man and human beings and um, other animals, birds and everything, they existed beforehand in his mind. The word is God. Already they, all these things were present in him. They were out of this it has come. Take for instance the case of a carpenter. He makes the table and he does not make the table without the wood, without the tree. That was already before. Therefore, normally, according to human reason, we say nothing comes from nothing. If the carpenter has created the, the table, he has taken as material from somewhere, namely from the wood. The wood existed before. This cannot be applied to God. God is so powerful and His Word knows everything. Whatever that could come afterwards is all in the mind of God. God is not just a body like our body. His reason is not just like our reason. He is supreme, powerful, supreme knowledge he is the way, truth and life. So God has everything within himself. So out of his internal existence, he brings out the whole universe with all his wonders, with all his beautiful situation, environment, etc. So man in this, he is made the center of creation. That we see in the uh, Bible, especially in the psalm, we read how God is connected in the universe and what He does. If you take the psalm, 104, we read this, how God creates each and everything, including man, and for the life of man, he gives water, animals, eating, etc. So I would say, God is supreme master of the creation. Creation does not come by itself. It cannot come. It is not, God is not the man. God is above everybody. And he knows all these things in his mind, in his, in his own life. Something of his life we have in our own body. We have our brain. In the brain we have got a cell, particular cell that supervises the functioning of the whole body. And especially when we sleep, the brain works. The works, its work is to supplement, to revise and recharge the entire body. So we understand that ourselves cannot be done, everything cannot be done by ourselves. The brain, 
that is creation of God. The power given to the brain is the work of God. It is the work of God that makes me live. Therefore, when I say I live, it is not I who live, it is God. God is within me, in my heart, in my brain, in my soul. That is what I call the soul. The soul is immaterial. It has no body. It is not like body and matter, that is a material thing. So I am not just a material thing. I have got a soul which is spiritual. Therefore my aim, my life must be oriented towards that spirituality, spiritual part of mind. We often we forget about it, the spiritual. What is the spiritual? God is within me. And I must search for God. St. Augustine says he was searching for God everywhere. Finally he said, I went far away from you. You were within me all the time. And you are within me now. So without knowing you in my heart, I was searching for you outside. It was in vain. And then he says, everything that he has is coming from God himself. So that is true for us. And all his knowledge, all his theological reasoning, all his theological uh, function, speaking, words, sermons, and all that he accepts is the work of God. So can we do that? We can. So none of us can claim that everything is done by me. And whatever I do is done by me, it is not true. Nothing is done by me. I am I am like a carpenter who makes use of what is given to me. And who gives that? God. Therefore, whatever I do is the work of God. Therefore, if it is to be the work of God, it must be according to His mind. For instance, I am suffering. When I suffer, I search for happiness. So normally all of us search for happiness in the world. So sometimes this happiness means without suffering, without pain, without difficulties, without uh, searching attitude and all that comes. So I am blocked. We should not be blocked. We should endure suffering. We should endure it. What cannot be avoided must be endured. Therefore suffering is a way of our life to go. God says, you accept this. You take this and you obey me. That is within my heart it comes. Therefore I must be always patient, always enduring, whether it is happiness or it is suffering. And all that is done by God for my own good, that my soul becomes purified and it becomes one with God. And finally it must reach God. It is that greatest happiness that God has got for me. And we don't realize that happiness can come, can, can be obtained only by the grace of God. So I must be abiding by whatever He says, whatever He gives, I must take it up. This happens also in the married life. In the married life, people think they can do whatever like, they can enjoy, they can have only happiness, this um, body happiness. No, body is a flesh. It's not soul, it's not spiritual. Whatever is limited, whatever is there, you will take it. And for the good of the family, good of your children, and you work for that. And not simply uh, attached only to the body. We find that in, um, uh, in Tamil, Paribadal, I always think of that Paribadal. Punnum purulum punnum pohumum alla ninbal anbum aranum arulum anbum aranum moonrum. Purulalla, how the energy, that is not my wealth, money, no, property, no, nor gold. Gold is good, in itself it is not bad, but I must not go beyond the limit. Then, Boham, that is uh, concupiscence, bodily satisfaction. No, it is correct, it is good in the married life, but also there within limits, but you should not go beyond it. So this is I don't want. 
without god i want your grace arul i want your love and i want your blessing porulum ponnum poomum alla inbal anbum aranum aranum undru that grace to do good thing aran what is that aram aram means to do good for others what i think good for me i must do the good things for other people my action must be good and my target must be good both the target and my action must be good in order to achieve something good i must do i must not do wrong thing that is i have to accept and do therefore my life consists in the life of christ in the life of god ultimately and in our own case in the life of christ we have accepted christ as the son of god and our own uh, close to us through his own body and human life here so god through his son is blessing us and our lady who bore the body of christ also has got a great share in the life of man she has suffered with jesus is so her own son is her own body was suffering she felt it so she took part in the passion of christ and she is given as our mother when jesus was dying he pointed out to her behold your mother and pointing to st john he said behold your son we are all mary's children the whole church is the son of children of mary as well as we are above and above ever mary we are the children of jesus christ therefore we should realize our nature our position in the world that we have to do god's mind god's will that is to love him about everything and um, uh, with full with the human heart whole whole body whole nature we have to love christ love god secondly my love must be revealed must be made known through my own life to my neighbor i must love my neighbor as myself as what i want namely i want god in me I want god in my heart i must also love my neighbor and make him realize that god is his own is in his body in his soul so he must act according to god's way and for that i must do everything help uh, body legal and uh, human health with sickness hospital and food and uh, dwelling place all the time must be able to participate to give to share with what i have with people who don't have anything that is already said by our lord jesus christ and we find it in our own tamil song paribaral porulum ponnum poomalla ninbal arulum anbum aranum moonrum these are the thing three thing in which we show our love for our neighbor so with this i conclude God bless you all thank you everybody